All right, we are playing some Amumu support, running Aftershock, Font of Life, Bone Plating, Unflinching, uh, Cheap Shot, Ultimate Hunter, one CDR, one Magic Resist, one Armor. Um, I picked Amumu this game mainly because I'm trying to practice new champions, but I also do think this is just a really good uh, spot to pick him. Enemy team has three assassins and Rengar, Diana. Awkward. Uh, Rengar, Diana, and Kiana. So my thought process is they have to kind of walk into melee range of my team. Uh, should make it pretty easy for me to land my Qs, land my ulti. We take that. Uh, so yeah, that's why I like the Amumu pick here. Typically, as Amumu level 1, you're looking to play pretty aggressive and just try to utilize both of your Qs, but with an Ezreal on my team, didn't see a whole lot of potential there. Um, instead, decided to go at level 2, got an early flash. We'll see if we can maybe create some more opportunities, but I don't love this pairing with Ezreal. We'll try to make the most of it, though. I think uh, this pick is really going to work well later in the game. Team fights. Glad to see you're back, mate. Yeah, it's, it's good to be back. I've been having a lot of fun. Um, we'll see how long I stick around for this time, but so far it's been fun. I, I do enjoy streaming, and I, I miss it a good amount. I'm going to get a ward down here because we're three minutes in, which is where people typically gank. Yo, what's up, JT? I don't love how easily chunked my Ezreal's getting. I don't know if it's just from the Misfortune comment E or if it's also from Sona, but we're losing a lot of our 2v2 potential. He's just getting shredded. I honestly don't mind like an early recall from Ezreal. Especially with like 2v2 potential mid lane right now. I'm gonna walk this way, help my vice secure that. We can maybe even walk in this way or look mid. Except I do wish Vi would have waited for me. Maybe here? Okay, not bad. Um, like I said, I do wish my Ezra would have recalled because he would have been like close to back in lane by this point. Instead, he kind of wasted his time. He's low health and we probably can't get anything done here. Even here, like the waves in such a weird spot. Yeah, not, not a, the greatest use of our time, to be honest. I don't mind me roaming there, but it's only a good roam if Ezra recalls. And then we can get back to lane and continue looking for 2v2s. Instead, it sets us pretty far behind. He's literally a misfortune bounce from dying. He should have backed a long time ago. Yeah, I agree, but it is what it is. Again, typically when you play a Mumu support, you are looking to be really aggressive early on. Um, so the fact that we're behind in the lane isn't ideal, but at the same time, I don't think it's as big of an issue this game because of how good our team fight is and our ability to peel against some of these uh, assassins later in the game. Also could have potentially uh, looked for a roam, but there was a huge wave and I wanted to make sure I soaked up some of that XP because if I don't, I think I could have fell behind pretty easily this early in the game. Uh, waves pushed in, jungler's bot side somewhere. Kiana's there, so there's no roam potential for me here. Just going to look for some vision. And I can do this safely because Diana's top. An ally has been slain. Enemy double kill. That's not great, though. Okay, maybe 2v2 potential here. We are a little bit behind in items. But Misfortune has cleanse, which I don't think is like a huge issue because if she cleanses one i just hit her with the second one i do however need ezreal to stop getting poked and i also need this wave to be fixed i'm, I'm kind of surprised that they're able to hit ezreal as much as they have i kind of didn't want to Ignite there, but it's all good. Oh, that was way too over eager, man. I can't believe he lived that, to be honest.
I did think my Vi was closer, but I think I actually kind of baited them in perfectly here. Ah, bummer. Wait, Ezreal died? No way. No way. <laughs> that seemed so free. I thought for sure that I could just uh, go for Sona and hope that maybe we can actually get two instead of just one. That is wild. <laughs> okay, I I might have to look at the re the the replay on that one. I I I mean, sure. I guess it is kind of my fault because I uh, I I got greedy and looked for the additional kill before we had the first one secured, but. I really did think that one was completely secured, and then I was looking to... Uh, I was looking to move on to our next target. Uh, I don't have enough for my Q here. Yeah, again, um... <laughs> that, that could very well be my fault. Um, Maybe I was uh, looking to get too much out of a play that we sh should have just taken the guaranteed kill, but um, my initial reaction is I, I, I think that should have been a secured kill, and I was looking for the flash queue onto the Sona so we could potentially get both. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to think about it too much for now, though. Um, highest win rate build is CDR boots, but that's a lot of people auto-attacking me when I'm in these team fights as kind of our main frontliner. So I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go steel caps here. It was definitely a free kill. Yeah, that's that's what I thought too. So I don't know. One of those things that probably gonna have to look at the uh, replay for to figure out exactly what went wrong. Oh, I don't love this play, my man. We do not have mid prio, Kiana's roaming over. Don't necessarily wanna go in here. Trying to leave some pressure, and now my edge shield's too far forward. Hopefully he has E. My god, what am I watching? <laughs> he had E, but he E back in. <laughs> uh, bro, I gotta ask, how do you play support? I'm trying to learn, but I'm so bad. Uh, that is what I would consider to be a loaded question. How to play an entire role is something I can't really answer super easily but um if you have like specific questions feel free to ask um if you kind of narrow it down for me i can try to help for the most part though i i would just kind of point you towards my youtube channel i do have a whole youtube channel that is filled with tips and tricks and gameplay videos and stuff like that so um that's where i would start and then on top of that just feel free to ask some questions Okay, this game's not going ideally. I'm gonna clear that out. He does have access to that, but I don't really want him to get it. Can I get some help here, potentially? Uh oh, okay. I'll, 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 I'll take, uh... I'll take blame for that. It's not looking bad, though, especially with the exhaust. I do wish my Victor would have roamed earlier. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take fault for that. Um, was definitely expecting Victor to walk over and help me. The fact that Ezreal came gave me some hope. I mean, I thought I pinged it enough for Victor to have enough time to walk over. Not ideal, though. I guess it's never a good thing to make assumptions about what your team's gonna gonna do, right? I prefer not to give all of this over for free, to be honest. They're probably on Dragon here, which I don't think we can quite contest. It's 10 to 3. We're pretty far behind in gold, especially after that rift drop. Um, I am a little worried about my Ezreal because even though they are on Dragon, he's playing with no vision, so they can walk over. He canceled his auto. 
And now he's probably dead. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's it's gonna be a tough game. It's gonna be a real tough game. Wave's not a bad spot, but I don't know if I really want to hold it that long. Money in my pocket. It's taking him longer than expected to push it in. Yeah, he's going to lose some confidence and back out. I'm going to have to hold this wave for a long time in order to save it from my Ezreal, which is going to make me take a bunch of damage. I can kind of do this little trick where you go in and out of the bush, grab aggro, and lose aggro. Okay. That helped me a little bit. Like, I, I didn't take as much damage since I was dropping aggro so much. So I was able to hold the whole wave. A little trick for you guys if you didn't know about it. Boys, I, I gotta be honest, I am a little worried about this game. Um, I, as much as I love the team fighting potential that we have. We just gotta go for this, we gotta go for this, we gotta go for this. I, I honestly, I, I don't have regrets about that. We are, we are so far behind in this game that we kind of need to try to force something. I, I, I still don't hate that play. I will admit, I completely forgot that Misfortune had Glenn, so I would have played it differently. I would have looked to have led with a Q, probably tried to burn a cleanse there, then ulti, then land another Q. Uh, after years of playing this game, I've come to the decision to take a long break from being a support and using my support mages as a bot laner. So far, I've been having a more relaxing time. My random supports are far better than me. My natural instincts as a support allow me to understand their intentions. Uh-oh. Um, that isn't a strategy that I see you having a ton of success with long-term because you can't necessarily play a mage support or a, a mage bot laner every single game. You expect to win. What a flash. If that truly was what he tried to do by, like, flashing in front, so I tanked the Q, good job. Got to give you credit there. I mean, we still got the kill. Uh, but back to your question or what you're saying, playing Mage's bot lane is not going to work long term. But as far as it being relaxing for you, I think that's good. Um, at the end of the day, it is a video game, and you should play champions and play positions that they're going to find fun, or at least positions that won't be stressful for you. Uh, support has always been one of those roles I've always been bad at when it comes to the actual laning phase. My map awareness is good, but I always seem to play too passively because I don't feel confident in my skills of support. Um, my main piece of advice, as far as that goes, is try to stand even with your ADC. See, a lot of people standing behind their ADC, which... Um, it's not super effective. You want to try to look at it this way. Try to create a triangle with you, your ADC, and whoever it is that you're trying to target in the bot lane. If you're creating a triangle, that means you're close enough to protect your ADC, but you're also both close enough to attack the enemy support or ADC, whoever that may be. I was going to say, my Aatrox, I don't think he's doing too bad this game, but he's also 1-4. I don't think I have anybody on my team who's doing super well. It's going to take a miracle. I mean, I think we still have some good, like, raw damage, especially with Vi, so I don't... I don't hate this look here. Here, boys. Nice. Okay, that's something. Um, that I, I was a little worried that we were gonna replicate the issue we had earlier in the game, where I went for the Sona before the other person was secured. But like I said earlier, we're so far behind in this game. We're at a point where you do kind of have to force things um, in order to try to find your way back into the game. So, bit of a riskier play. This one actually worked out for us. 
Um, unfortunately, the three people who are fed on their team, we weren't able to kill, and those are the shutdowns we really need. That we uh, really need. need. I mean, if I am going to try to pull positives away from this game, though, one of my main goals is just practicing new champions, and even though the game's going about as poorly as it possibly could, um, I don't think I've necessarily been the issue. I felt pretty comfortable on a move so far, so much to the point that I've gone for some plays that probably shouldn't have because I'm feeling too confident. I don't want to overstep here. They kind of have control of the entire river right now. Um, if we could find another 3v2 skirmish or something like that, where I can CC someone, we lock them down with Vi, and maybe get some of these shutdowns, that's the way back into the game. Like this here, we have Victor who can roam over. Oh, oops. Okay. I missed my second Q, which made that a little sketch, and I was worried he was going to jump back on me and kill me, but we got what we needed to do, or what we needed to get done there. Um, again, as I was just saying, looking for number opportunities to use how much CC that I have on my champion to lock them down and get some shutdowns for us, so that's good. And what's even better is I was able to do that without using my ult. I love what's going on in your background. Yeah, I, I got I got so much just junk in my room. I, I'm a big collectible kind of guy, so I got everything you could possibly think of. Remind me after this game. That was... That's actually pretty good. Speaking of confidence in my Mumu, that was an R flash, by the way. I don't know if I can necessarily save him here. I think we'd just be happy with the one kill and back out. Um, but to finish my thoughts, first of all, yeah, I, I am a big collector, so I got a bunch of junk in my room. Um, I'll show you guys kind of everything I got when the game's over. Um, but breaking down that play further, that was a, an R flash. I didn't really see an angle to land my Q. By the way, what is Victor doing here? Like, you're so far extended, man. We don't have a tower here. Look how far up he is. I guess he got a, a flash out of it, so it's not bad. Um, yes, I, I didn't see an angle to land my Q. So I went with an R flash there. Um, and it was... Oh, man. Okay, thank God. Yeah, the uh, R flash was good enough there, and then once we were on top of them, it was a lot easier to land the cues. Uh, understanding matchups is something where you literally just have to play the game a lot and experience matchups. It's Experience is everything in League of Legends in general, but especially understanding matchups, understanding champion capabilities. Just the more you play, the easier things get. By the way, dare I say, this game's starting to seem a bit more winnable, no? They were so far ahead, the game should have been over by now, and I don't feel like that it necessarily is. And these two shutdowns, man, if we can get those, that's huge. That looks like a bait for something. We don't have vision bot side. I need to be proccing my relic shield. I've been roaming so much. I haven't had any opportunities to. I don't love this yet. Ah, that's my bad. Way too overextended. Kind of knew something was up. There's no point for us to be there, really. And I am... Deathly confused by the fact that my team, after seeing me and Ezreal get one shot, decided to then go in 3v5. That part doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Oh, yeah. 
if we did have a winning chance, I think we kind of lost it there. Definitely kind of my bad, though. Did not need to be there. Said I was worried about them coming from bot side, and that's exactly what they did. For some reason, I thought I had an escape plan because I thought I could have queued to this camp here, but it wasn't up. This game is probably lost. Honestly, should have forfeited it, but um, again, this is a uh, this is a learning experience for me. I'm trying to get better at a Moomoo, so I'll take the additional practice, even if it's a lost cause. Hey, I'll take that. Got a cleanse for free? I don't know why he's there. That's not even soul point for them, so it's not something we need to be contesting. Especially while they have Baron. I don't hate looking here, though. Mm. Just gonna play it safe. They have to come to us, right? They have to try to siege. We have good AoE. Maybe we can get something done. Probably not. But this is going to be one of our last opportunities, too. That's for sure. I'm honestly pretty happy I missed that. Because I think I would have just been dead instantly. They are looking to hard commit for this guy. We just better hope that they're not rotating over, I guess. They are. Uh, I was hoping... Uh-oh. Not even close? I was hoping, like, right there, Misfortune was isolated and Ezreal was walking up. So hoping maybe he had enough damage that if I perma CC'd the uh, Misfortune, we could have one-shot her. But my Ezreal's 3 and 8, so I wasn't very likely. I mean, again, I, I actually played, played pretty well this game. It's 30 to 9, and uh, I'm 0-3-7. I'm, I'm part of 7 of my team's 9 kills. Uh, while only dying three of my team's 31 deaths, so. There's definitely some positives to uh, take away from this game. Especially just like learning the limitations of my champion, that's for sure. Hey, we got the uh, one of the shutdowns I said we desperately needed, just a bit too late. Not bad. GG's. Yeah. 